The Domain Drouin, Oregon site was selected for its remarkable similarity in climate, latitude, and aspect to the legendary Vineyards of Burgundy, where the parent company, Maison Joseph Drouin, is located. The Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays from the Oregon winery are highly acclaimed by many in the wine market, and Aaron Bell is pleased to contribute to the winemaking process. When the wine company hosted its own Oregon Pinot Camp, Aaron represented the philosophies and experiences of Domaine Drouin, where he has worked since 2002. He has experienced what he calls the University of Drouin under the tutelage of Veronique Drouin Boss and Robert Drouin, stretching the 8,000 miles between Oregon and Burgundy. It's been, uh, it's been a fun journey. I love who I work for. They're uh, amazing people, and as I said, like almost 90 years of uh, winemaking experience between, the, uh, between Robert Drouin and, and Veronique Drouin, so I've got pretty good mentors um, with Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, which is nice. Four generations of the Drouin family have worked the vineyards in Burgundy, learning through time every nuance of every plot of land. What is the main challenge for the relatively young counterpart in Oregon? I think is the, the, the approach of trying to learn the land. Um, you know, a lot of people ask, well, why aren't you guys doing a single vineyard wine at this point? Why aren't you doing, you know, why aren't you doing that block and that block and that block separately? And we've always done barrel blends because from the Burgundian standpoint, is it's, it's about the place, it's about terroir, and we haven't really learned that yet. We're learning it. Every year is, is, is different, and each of the parcels of land that we grow grapes, whether it's organically or, or I say conventionally, but um, non-organically, um, we're learning the personalities of those places. And that's something that I think is, Oregon believes in it as well, but it's obviously the foundation of Burgundy, that Gevre is Gevre and Chambol is Chambol um, for, for a reason, that they've learned over a number of, obviously, years, way more than we've been there, 25. But I think that um, that's an interesting approach that I love, that we, we still do barrel blends of these different parcels because we don't know exactly what is our grand cru piece of property or, or, or parcel or block or our premier crew or our village. We're still letting the, the vineyards tell us uh, what, what's happening and where they're going to be, where their pedigree will end up. Organic or biodynamic growing has a big impact in the vineyards, no question about it. But does it make a difference in the wine cellar and the resulting wines? For us, we haven't been doing long enough. I can't say that I could um, I know that there's, is it because I know? That's always the thing. Is it because I know that that's organic? You, you go, ooh, there is something more soulful to that wine. I think that, I think it's another thing that we'll know in, in time, 20, 25 years from now, that yes, this is why, and this organic adds this to it. Um, there's one in particular, it's 90, is a, a vineyard planted in 1998. We call it the 98 East West. It's one of the only, first vineyards that we planted true East West. A lot of other things just from a farming standpoint were planted north south or southeast northwest. Um, so um, we've been farming it organically the longest. So that's been an, uh, farming organic for seven years. And there is something to be said about this wine. It's, uh, it's something that uh, I say soulful. There's something playful in the wine and it's very spicy. But it's always been, ha always had this spice. But I've seen it, and I don't know if it's a vintage or, uh, but I've seen this, the kind of spiciness. Um, increase and the length of the wine get better. And is it, uh, is it vine maturity? Is it organic? Is it a combination of the two? That's a, it's a very complicated uh, question to answer. Really, do you know what it is? Of the future, Robert Drouin has said, I would like to think that one day people will taste Oregon wines, and particularly our wine, and will say, it is really true to the classic Burgundian Pinot Noir. Not a Cote de Bon, not a Cote de Nuit, but uniquely Oregon.